Okay, do you guys see we're going to have to do some increments of 18 minutes because that's just the time allotted that it's given me on the flip right now. So we're just going to roll this till it rolls on out and then we have to do something else at that point in time. But <clears throat> anyway, so, and I still didn't get my, I still didn't put this stuff on my lips. Damn. On the next go round when I come back and then I'll be all, you know, slapped up and buttered up and shit. But anyway, um, I went outside. I was talking to Kim for a minute while I was uploading the last one, and now I'm back on. But, you know, family, y'all, you know what? This world is crazy, man. I mean, it's, it's just so much going on to where it makes you want to be responsible. You know, it makes you want to be out the way. It makes you want to find you somebody to live this life with and just get the fuck out the way. You know, it's us and the world type of thing. But the thing is, as you get older, what is it that you really want? And what is it that you truly qualify for? Because everybody don't qualify to be a wife. And everybody don't qualify to be no damn husband. Okay? Now, when I, I, I have a tendency to meet a lot of people. Okay? Throughout my life, I meet men, I meet women. You know, and um, at this stage of the game in my life, I'm asked a lot, what is it that you want? What you want, Tina? Tell me what you want. If, 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 if it was your choice, what do you want? And I want what I never, ever had, and that is monogamy. I don't give a fuck about nothing else no more. I done had big rings. I done had, I've lived a real cool life. I've traveled, I've done, I have a home, I have a nice car. What else is it now? And now, and I'm also raising my children to be responsible adults in this world. So now what is it that I want for me? I want monogamy. I want a soul, a, 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 beyond a soulmate, I want a life partner, okay? Now in the beginning, our souls is what connect, okay? Because I want some energy. I need energy, you know what I mean? And if it don't feel right, it ain't right. So our souls must connect, but I want a life partner. There is a difference. A soulmate is a person that you meet, and it's like, you know what, y'all vibe and y'all feel each other, y'all having fun, but hell, energy can come and go. You understand what I'm saying? So then therefore, when that energy is gone, now what do you have? Then therefore, now you're picking up and meeting somebody else, all the, you know, all the glitterness done kind of wore off on this right here. So now it's time to keep pushing. Because now real life done stepped in. And it's like, you know what? Nah, I don't know if I really want to go through it with this motherfucker no more. Because they ain't really ready. So, you know, it's like, okay, you meet a soulmate. It work out. It go. Then what happens after that? What do you want at that point in time? Now you want a life partner because a life partner is going to go through the thick and the thicker with your ass. Walk a plank of high coals. You understand what I'm saying? If you need a kidney, uh, go and put me to sleep and go and get it. You know what I mean? That is what I'm talking about. I want a life partner. That means you are my better half. That means everything that I am, I am, you're not, and we mesh very well, and it goes. You understand what I'm saying? I want that. And that's where you really need to be going in your life. Because, see, a lot of times you could be married. There's a lot of people married and they're not even committed. The fuck you doing? But I've been there, though. So I know well. I know so well about that. I could talk about this from here on and now on. It's so many motherfuckers in just, just married. Just it, they, they just got paperwork. At the end of the day, she don't ask him about what the fuck he got going on, and he ain't got no room to ask her. Whatever you do during your work hours, nigga, that's on you. Every now and again, you might be able to slide in by coming in three, four hours later on, but, you know, you can't do it that often. But every now and again, you can come in with a real good one, and then you're able to do all that. You know, but for the most part, they do their cheating when they leave claiming that they going to work, coming home from work. In the meantime, in between time, they done took a half a day. They done went in late, said that they had a doctor's appointment. They had this, whatever, it's always something. But, you know, 
That's just a little something you want girls you want to key in on that on that work time. Just like with men, you know, shit goes down real, real crazy. You understand what I'm saying? And at this point in time in my life, damn that was taking me a place. <laughs> That was it. I've been there. Shit, come on, somebody. I've been right there. I've been her. I've been that wife that my husband was leaving, and, you know, he done took a half a day. But then he come home around the same time every day like nothing, but he was out parlaying and kicking it during the day, during the work hours. It's a lot of shit goes down, and a lot of times you just need, really need to, ladies, look, and my brothers, too. Because a lot of times a man can be out there working and she doing the most while your motherfucking ass is at work, okay? See, it goes both motherfucking ways. Now, you out here working and mo majority of the time men work nights or swing shifts and shit like that. That's when the shit can really get funky, you know what I'm saying? That motherfucker gotta be working in the afternoon that motherfucker don't come back to let on at night. Oh, my God, all kind of shit can take place. Or he, he worked the night shift or he on the road as a truck driver. Well, he doing this right here. Man, brothers, y'all better know. Okay, so you can do that bullshit for so long, and then she gonna be like, well, wait a minute. Let me play Get Like Me, okay? This motherfucker, he been doing all this shit for so long. Let me see what let me see what that thing do. You know what I mean? Now she's doing what you what your motherfucking ass been doing. But all the while now you've been out here having fun and been doing your shit and trying to act like ain't nobody knowing it about it. And then all of a sudden she's like, wait a minute, hold on, I'm gonna quit crying. About this right here. Motherfuckers done found me a little attractive shit. My shit is all, I'm all right. Shit, let me go out here and see what that do. You know what I'm saying? And then therefore, now both of y'all out here fucking up. Now still, what do you have? What do you have, you end up having, is a situation. It's complicated. It's complicated. Why? Because now you done got to the point where you depended on her income and she done depended on yours. And y'all can't do nothing but live in this motherfucker. Because, and therefore, this is what we can afford, and this is comfortable, this is home. He said, I'm not leaving. She said, she not leaving, because where the fuck are we going to go? To go out and re-rent another place, or go and buy another place and split hairs, and now you take the TV in the den, and I'm going to take the TV in the bedroom. Man, what is all that? So then, therefore, after a while, what do you have? Don't ask me a motherfucking thing about what you got going on. You go do your shit, and I'm going to go do my shit. Shut it up. Don't say nothing to me. Because you didn't last month, you do this and that. Don't come tell me nothing about it. Nigga, I got some free passes to use. Don't tell me nothing about this right here. That is how a lot of grown people are living right now. I've lived it for so long. I know how to play the game. Nigga, fuck Parker, brother, and them. You understand what I'm saying? Shit, that nigga, I can give a motherfucking seminar on Tuesdays and Thursdays. You know what I'm I done seen so much in my lifetime to where it's, it's like it gives me a voice to be able to speak on it. You know what I'm saying? It puts it puts me in a place to where I can't do nothing but speak on it and tell somebody else, girls, boys, this is how it's going down. Real shit. I done been on both sides of this motherfucking spectrum. I know how it goes. Okay? But now, in this dating era, motherfuckers is in it now to use motherfuckers. See, that's what's going on now. The Whereas back in the day, <clears throat> a lot of men were becoming very responsible. You know what I'm saying? A man knew that if he didn't work, he didn't eat. You know? So he was out there making sure he had his own shit. But as time went on, men got on and off drugs. Women becoming to get soft. There's so much women. Women don't know what the fuck they're supposed to do nowadays. That's why men are out here running amok and doing what the fuck they're doing. Because women don't know what the fuck they're supposed to be doing. That's what's going on right now. A man can only do what the fuck he's allowed to do. And if he don't have no perimeter around his motherfucking ass, guess what he gonna do? It's called run a motherfucking month. You better understand. Okay? But then therefore, he can't, re he, how he can't respect you if you ain't giving him nothing to respect. If you're not telling him what the fuck he can and can't do, no, you're not finna do me one of them because I'm not finna go for it. If you can't talk to him and tell him what's happening and all you're doing is saying yell yeah, on every motherfucking thing, you're not really winning, you're losing. Because you feel like if you tell him no, now he going to leave. He going to get on. He going back over there with Yolanda. He going back over here with so-and-so. He going to do, man, fuck all that shit. If he go, let that motherfucker go. Because guess what's going to happen? 
the next motherfucker that come is going to be better than that one if you've sown some decent ass seeds, which means that you've been standing firm in your truth and you've been be being a woman of integrity. God ain't going to bring no bullshit to your life. You understand what I'm saying? But if you out here bullshitting, hooking and crooking, trying to steal from niggas, trying to set niggas up, fucking niggas to get their money and all this kind of shit, then guess what? God ain't going to give you nothing but what you deserve. You don't deserve nothing else. Why the hell is he going to bring you a good ass man and you out here bullshitting? How the fuck he going to bring you a decent ass man and your motherfucking ass is still married? Huh? How the fuck he going to bring you somebody decent and shit but yet and still you out here, you know what I'm saying, writing bad ass checks still? Why motherfuckers... Is they still doing that nowadays? Oh, no, nah, motherfuckers are taking credit card numbers now, ain't they? They're taking credit card numbers now. Okay, you out here on some credit card fraud and shit, but yet and still you want a man to come in and come and do all this right here. But you flipping switches with, with uh, Alibaba and AliExpress and them. You know what I'm saying? So come on now. I mean, it's a lot going on in this motherfucking world. You know? So it's like, <clears throat> you have to think about it. Okay, now I really want, not like me, okay, me right now, I want a life partner, man. So I got to be, I have to be a decent ass individual because God ain't going to bless my mess. If, so then therefore it's like, okay, well look, Father God, I want me a good ass man. I want, I want monogamy. I want this, this, this. Man, that's why I choose to stay the fuck out the way because I don't want to fuck with nobody. I don't want to fuck with nobody. I don't want to get involved in no motherfucking twist. I want to sit around here. I want to burn my motherfucking incense, burn my trees, and raise the motherfuckers. Huh? Raise my goddamn children and teach them what they need to do with hopes that if I put out these good works, you know, and I'm being fruitful and I'm sharing of my life, then therefore my hope is that God is going to give me and bring me what I deserve. My equivalent. You understand what I'm saying? And that's what I want. I want a life motherfucking partner. And it's funny that, you know, every man that I meet, I would have to say just about everyone, a good 90% right off the top won't be to marry they motherfucking ass. We, you gonna be my wife. Fuck all this shit. You my wife. We gonna get married. We gonna do this. I'm bringing this U-Haul truck to your house to bring all my shit over here. This motherfucker was trying to bring his motorcycle and park it at my house. You know, he was like, you know, nigga, don't be trying to bring shit over here and leave little sprinklers of shit at my house. So then therefore you, you know, you're putting steak here. You know what I'm saying? I got reason to keep coming here because I have my things there. But it puts me in a situation as a woman with her own. It's like, okay. Do these niggas really want, want to be with me this way? Or are these niggas trying to get on? Are they trying to use me? Not only do they want them a badass on their arm. They want a queen now. They want this on my arm. She got all this right here. Because men be bragging their ass off, ladies. Please understand that. When they on them motherfucking jobs, you be a bad motherfucker if you want to. They done showed half of their whole motherfucking, they, the crew leader and they whole new crew that they went. They done showed all the motherfuckers your pictures. They done showed, told them motherfucker, okay, she drive this, she own that, she's this, this, this. Man, look at this picture of my mom. Man, this my, man, this gonna be my wife. Oh, they do all that. Please understand it and know it, okay? I didn't know nothing about, what's the name of that shit? Tango. I didn't know shit about that, Okay. Baby was like, baby, I need you to get on Tango. I was like, wait a minute, what the fuck is that? He was like, okay, get the app, put it on your phone. I didn't have no room on my phone. <clears throat> so I had to put it on my iPad, okay? So, and I'm, I, one day he calls me on this motherfucking Tango, okay? So, and it's like, all of a sudden, here I'm seeing about nine motherfuckers in the background. Hey, Tina. Hey. I'm like, baby, who is all these people? Oh, this is my homeboy. Hey, y'all say what's up to my wife. Hey, this is so-and-so. And baby, this is so-and-so. I'm like, wait a minute, hold on. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It gets like that. You know, but see, you are responsible for the energy that you bring. Okay? So, but ladies, when you fucking with these niggas, you want to be so, um, let me see. You want your energy. Well, see, I don't know. I, I, I know for me. My energy is very strong because I know what the fuck to do. <laughs> oh, I'm going to make you feel like you need to. Understand that. I'm going to make you feel like you need to feel because I know what to do. Okay? And ladies, 
you guys need to know what the fuck to do. How you gonna be a wife if you don't know what the fuck to do? I'm gonna tell you to go back again to Proverbs 31. Now, one thing about the Bible, I don't want to go all back and forth with it, but in the Bible, it always talk about man, 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 he, 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 he. So it's all throughout the Bible telling a man what he's supposed to be, okay? And, and the way he's supposed to be of integrity and this and that, okay? But in Proverbs 31, it specifically says what she is supposed to do. Go back and look at that shit. Okay? And then get to looking at your life, looking at this, looking at your life, and figuring out where you falling short at on what the fuck you really supposed to be doing. And see, for me, that is what I'm doing. I'm, I'm, I'm raising a home because a woman is supposed to raise a home. That is what we're supposed to do. We're supposed to build. We're supposed to have a home. We're supposed to have something for him to come to. But see, a lot of women is getting it fucked up. You bringing motherfuckers over to your two-bedroom apartment where you and nine motherfuckers is at. You know what I'm saying? No, this nigga just needs some place to go, mama. No, you're not really building nothing. You just got a motherfucker that just coming in and want to put something on it. You know what I'm saying? No, you're supposed to build a home. Not to say that you have to have a house per se. Yeah, it could be an apartment or whatever. Wherever your home is, okay, that's fine. That is your home. But I'm saying, as you read it, she's supposed to be building a home. Wherever that home is at, build that motherfucker. Start stocking it with, with the things that it need in that home. You got stacks and stacks of this and stacks of that. You got, you building this, you, you know what I'm saying? You're building up your credit, you know, you're building up your integrity. You're raising prudent children. You got groceries, it's fruitful. You got birds and shit flying around. You got you're a house of living. It's a home. It's the difference between a house and a home. A house is just a spot where motherfuckers come in and out, like them nine motherfuckers in that two bedroom. This person didn't have a place to say, okay, girl, come on in. This one didn't have a place to, okay, come on in. How you gonna nurture to a man and you got all these motherfuckers up in here? Well, you said your food stamps was coming on this day, bitch, and you didn't give me but $100, and you was supposed to give me $200. So, bitch, we, we feuding. This one over here feuding because this one right here waiting on her baby daddy to do this. Man, that's not building a home. That's building some bullshit. Whereas everybody about to be in the middle of the street in a minute and everybody been about to be fighting. No, that's not building a home for a man to come to. But if he a man that ain't got no choice because he ain't got no motherfucking where to go. So now that he go over there, well, I'm going to go over here with Keisha and kick it with them for a minute. That motherfucker can't even rest good at night. That's why he's trying to find him somewhere else to go because he knows that this is not a home. This is the spot. Okay, it's a difference between a man coming into a home and a man going into a spot. He can't even rest well. Okay, roaches and shit crawling all over his motherfucking ass, bullshit, all this and that, baby daddy's driving up, wanting to fight and shit, bitches yelling and screaming and motherfucking kids snotty noses and diapers and shit all stacked up in the corners and all this old type of shit. Clean that shit up. And one way of fellas that you can tell if this woman is really clean or not, when you go to the motherfucking bathroom and around the, 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 the bottom of the bath, the, the toilet bowl, I'm talking about on the outside. Look around the back of that motherfucker. Look where the knob, where, 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 the, where the locks are. You know, and they got the big caps on them. If that shit is all dirty around that motherfucker. Then therefore, this woman might not be too clean. You understand? See, that, and therefore, that's why I'm telling you, go back to these Proverbs 31 so you know what the fuck you're supposed to do. So then therefore, get yourself prepared. So when a man say, I want you to be my wife, you know what I'm saying? You know what the fuck you getting ready to be. But man, I'm going to ask that if you want a wife, make, how the hell you going to be a You want a wife, but you can't be no motherfucking husband. It's more to it to just say, this is my wife. This is my husband. This is my fiance. Fiance shit ain't nothing better than just a better word than saying, this is my boyfriend and my girlfriend. After a certain age, how the fuck you going to have a boyfriend, nigga, and you 47? Boyfriend? What? That shit sound crazy to me. Yeah, this is my man. Okay, or this is my king. But it's hard for me to call a man a king if your motherfucking ass is low-key on some peasant. I can't call you that. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, you gotta walk the walk. You gotta make me feel like you that right there. How can I call you daddy and then, goddammit, you ain't taking care of me? You know what I'm saying? How, how I'm gonna call you that? I can't do it. It don't go together. It don't work. You know? So it's like, okay... 
truthfully, as I go through this dating thing, it makes me nervous. Real shit, because I'm not in here to play no goddamn game. I'm not in here trying to bullshit no motherfucker. I'm not trying to, you know, bring a nigga all up in my house and all this old move a motherfucker. I ain't trying to do none of that old type of shit. I want a man, I want God to bring me a man of integrity that's going to be about something, talk about something. You know what I'm saying? That I can learn from. You got to be able to learn from a motherfucker. How can I love you and I can't learn from you? I can't pray with you. I can't grow with you. How in the fuck am I going to be your wife? What? How in the fuck you going to be my husband and you, you can't even provide? I don't feel protected. You're not preparing me for this life. For the rest of my life. Come on. Family is more to it than just saying, I want a husband. I want a wife. But God damn it, what are you doing? What you doing? No. You know? And it's like one reason, another reason why I, I'm having this conversation is because I have a lot on my mind. You know, the, the men that I meet, these motherfuckers be serious. Okay? They be on some old, okay, look, check this out. Fuck all this bullshit. We grown. I've already been married. I know. I know. I already know what the fuck I don't want. But I want to be with you. Well, that puts me in a hell of a situation. I'm in situations right now because I got motherfuckers like, okay, well, look, check this out, Tina. Let's fuck all this bullshit. I already been through all that. Okay, what's happening with you now? Because you all, you full grown woman. I'm a full grown motherfucking woman. I know what the fuck I'm supposed to do, and I don't fuck around. I don't play with it. I'm not a, out here bullshitting and playing because I need to teach my daughter what the fuck she need to do when she get out here and arm her up so then and get her prayed up so when she go out here and meet these niggas out in the street because it's some bullshit out in this motherfucker. Real shit, this motherfucker out here bullshitting and trying to come up, trying to use motherfuckers and shit, you know? So, <clears throat> When I meet men, you know, initially on, on spot, men are attracted to what they see. They're not looking at your soul. They're looking at what the fuck they're looking at. Okay, well, damn, her body is this and that. Her face is this. You know, they're looking at what they see. That's the first thing with a man. Woman, you can have all the shit you want to have. But the first thing they're going to want to see is what the fuck you look like. That's what drives them. They're visual people. They're just visuals. Okay? So, then therefore, start working on your shit to where it's, you ain't got to be the best looking woman in the world, but goddamn it, when you pull all that shit off, you got to be looking like something. At least clean with it. At least clean. At least your canvas got to be clear. I might not be Janet Jackson. I might not be Beyonce or whoever else the bomb is, J-Lo, whatever. Might not be them motherfuckers, but when you bring off all this shit and take off all this shit and all this shit and pull off all this kind of motherfucking shit, and he look at you, baby, just be clean. If nothing else, just be clean. You know what I'm saying? And it don't it it it, it don't take a whole lot to get moisturized. You know, have your body together, be clean. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? As a woman, you would want that anyway. You know what I mean? Let a motherfucker be able to lay his head in your chest and shit and he don't lift up and now it's all his bronzers and shit all on him. You know what I'm saying? Men like to cuddle up. They like to be close, you know? At least when you're away from everything, when you you just being you, you're clean. Your body is clean. Your joni is pH balanced out, you know? I mean, we all working on shit. But therefore, but, but, but you got to you got to get this man something to hold on to, and when the shit is too slippery because it's caked up with so much other shit, baby, you're not you. You somebody else. You the representative. A man don't want a representative. They want the real motherfucking you. So once again, how you gonna be a wife if you don't know how to be one? Now you be a woman, or you be a wife, or you be a mama. You gotta be able to juggle all three of them motherfuckers, and that's a lot of work. You understand? But one thing about a good-ass man, he ain't going to let you do all this right here by yourself. Because he's going to take care of other things while you're doing all this right here. That's what the fuck I'm talking about. So, yes, you say you want to be my motherfucking husband, but, hell, I'm going to need you to do a whole motherfucking lot. You're going to need to know. Can you prepare me and protect me? You know what I'm saying? Can, can you provide for me? You know? But, see, people got it fucked up nowadays. 
You know, because I think really people are really out here trying to use people because they ain't got nowhere else to go. You know what I'm saying? I'm just going to ride right here until the shit just roll out. And then therefore that motherfucker get tired of me, I get tired of that motherfucker. And guess what, nigga, I'm going to keep it pushing. That's using somebody. Nigga, you in the way. <clears throat> you in the motherfucking way. Real shit. You know, so it's like, okay. So ladies, if I can't say nothing else, start getting your shit together. Quit saying I want a husband. Brothers, quit saying I want a wife. If you don't know what neither one of that motherfucking shit mean, you don't know what the fuck it mean. I want me a husband. I want me a wife. I, you my wife. You my husband. And God damn it. And you not really wearing the shirt. You out here bullshit. What is that? You too old for that shit. I hear you, motherfucker. Too old for it. Too old for it. Okay? You know, I mean, it's like, goddamn, it's grown folks still doing dumb shit nowadays. I, I don't understand that. As you get older, you're supposed to get better. How in the fuck you gonna have the same mindset when you was in your 30s, nigga, and you 50-something? How in the fuck you gonna be 43, goddammit, and you acting like you 27? It don't work. Your slip is showing. You looking crazy right now. Yeah. It, it don't, it just, I don't know. So it's like, Tina, but what is it that you want? I want a life partner, but I want a grown motherfucker that I already know what the fuck he's supposed to do. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to need you to be an asset to what the fuck I got going on. I'm going to need you to be an asset to my life. I need more than a soulmate. I need a life partner. Love my soul. I want to connect. 